Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Kaula! <laughs> I am for those who are just new to this channel. So I am originally from Surigao del Sur, specifically in Tandag City. And I'm here in Thailand right now because I'm working here as a math teacher. So, um, it's already 5.30 p.m. here. Um, I've read only these questions when I when they sent me this one, but I really didn't thought of like what should be my answer. If this is like a, an impromptu questions for me. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so this question is from Joanne because she reads her name as Joanne, Joanne Pilaire. So her question is, looking back, you used to be afraid of going abroad and looking for new opportunities. Now, for more than a year living abroad, what are your realizations? Hmm. Ang bigat, Miss Universe. Miss Universe, ni. On someone. Hmm. More than a year, what are my realizations? Mm -mm. That you should have a go. It took me 20. Eight years to realize that you should have a goal in life. You should dream of something to reach. You know what I mean? Because the thing with me is I'm a happy-go-lucky kind of person. So I just go with the flow. I I enjoy the moment. I'm always like that. I am still, but that's the most important important thing. I realize that. You need to have a goal and you have to work hard for it and accept changes. Yes, accept changes definitely. Like there are those changes that will hurt you but it will make you grow. So yeah, that's it. So second question. Second question. What's your take in body shaming? Because honestly, you are one of my few friends who don't bother at all. Um, but it's shaming. Dawat pangod na ko akong kaugalingon. How should I say this? But, um, I'm always like that. Like, I don't really get hurt when people would tell me, Oh, you're so fat. You're this and this and this. It won't hurt me. Because I accept myself. And I know I, I know it's true. You get what I mean? And, but it doesn't mean that it's all the time like that. You have those moments that you would get hurt because um, sometimes you have the, just these moments that, yeah, I know. Like, why would you even, like, in my face? It's like that. And, and, what, um... Yeah, uh, body shaming is not at all okay. It's not all okay. But sometimes there's a like a negative side of not being hurt when people would say that you're fat or something like that. Because um, some like most of the time, like the tendency is you're gonna be okay with it. Uh, I I'm not hurt by it. You know what I mean? Like, it's okay, like I already accept it. So you won't do anything. Um, that's and, and I'm guilty of it. Up to now, I, I'm not hurt. But but I want to, to tell people, I still want to tell people that it's not, it's never okay to do that to body shame. And maybe I just, like I am in the point of my life right now that I want to stand up. I want to react on what you're trying to tell me because it's not okay at all. I don't want this, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be fat all my life, and but I'm not doing anything. So it's crazy, and I know I should do something about it. And But nonetheless, body shaming is not at all okay. May it be you're fat or you're so thin, it's like that. So 
it's never okay for me and we just don't know how it would a affect that person on that certain time because again honestly there are those days that okay it's okay like I don't care there are days that it would hit you it's so rare that those words would hit me and the sad thing is that it hurts me on the day where I'm so down it's like that it's crazy but now I already accepted it like you know what people will always gonna say something to you and it doesn't matter and sometimes I would tend to like fight back and you know and also say bad things or not nice things to them but it's not okay it's always best to just just not comment and just you know like just let them be do not step down to their mood next question this question is from Julieza. hi Dai so her question is when you move plano mag diet when mangutana sa ko sa kong self Masulod good just ako nang una nga. Hanus aman jud niya, hanus aman jud. Pero dili gyud ako mabuhat. I don't know. But I have to. Kailangan mo siya. I don't know man. But kailangan mo siya. I know, I know, I know. Next question. Ahan mo gusto mag-settle down. Mm. Ahan ako gusto mag-settle down. Um, gusto na ako sa Philippines. I want to settle down in the Philippines, of course, but things change. You have to weigh things, and I don't know where, but I want to settle down in the Philippines. That's my answer. Next is from Queen. Ano? Question. Kamusta ang love life? Kamusta ang love life? Hi, Queen. Ha? Saman. Getting stronger. Getting stronger, I should say. Getting to know, I mean, attitude-wise, personality-wise. Kilala na? That's how I would want to say it. So, big guy, you sorry, guy. <laughs> Public guy, you. You know me. Mag open ako ni mo pag magkita ta. I will tell you everything. <laughs> Next question What's it like working thousands of miles away from your loved ones? Grabe mo rin na agi ko sa North Pole, ani kwi. <laughs> Thailand ako <laughs> kwi. Um, okay lang. <laughs> Okay lang. Kaya sanay namang ko nga layo sa pamilya. So, I'm used to work far away from my family. Like, my first job was in Manila and I was working there for almost six years. And then I worked in Davao for a while and then came here to Thailand. So, I'm used to being away to my family. But as I grew older, I realized that vacation times or vacation days are very much important to really spend time with your family that's what i realized late already because every time i would go on vacation i would i would go out with friends you know and meet them and catch up with them and i forget about spending time with my family which is more important so that's why when i get the chance to go home I would really want to spend time with them and just, you know, like, just spend the day with them. Like the normal, the usual day. So it's like that. Next question. Agree? From Anna Bena. Hi, Bean. Salamat sa yung question na rated SPG. <laughs> yung question kay sa iyo na ito ni Kate. Masabtanis atong iyaba. Um, asa imong 
pinakaunang KISS with a Ermitanyo. Ermitanyo! Ermitanyo! Na, wala na ako kadumdum. Stranger, dude. Wala na ako kadumdum. Um, next question. Weirdest place you've done it. Ala siya. Bakit may mga ganito, oy? <laughs> weird, weird, weird. Done good? Weird. Hindi mo siya weird. Kay, kamo naman siya. <laughs> Ginabot man din ninyo. Ginabot po na ako. Tsaka lang. Onsa man? Asa man? Wala. Wala. <laughs> Banyo? <laughs> Anak siguro. Ay, tabing. Next is from Anna Go. Hi, girl. Um, what is your favorite restaurant? Mm -hmm. Favorite restaurant? Restaurant? Ba matawag? Di mo kung saan yung restaurant, guys. Kaya, ano mag ko ng kanto, girl. <laughs> street food girl naman ko. Yes, so man. Siguro Banapol? Banapol ba na? Murag. Banapol ata. Nakalimot na ko. Hi girl. Magtagalog dahil ko. Kaya Tagalog na siya. Banapol ba? Nakalimutan ko na girl. Yung yung may Banapol na kay Banapol. Pili na ko kay Banapol. Gito siya. Hmm. Next is, what is your go-to food? Go-to food? Fried chicken? Oh, naman. Oh, naman yung mga dali-dali. Basta anything fried. Fried chicken. Next. Hmm. Most rebellious act. Ay, kitabing. Sige, apilo na lang natin. Most rebellious act you've done in high school. Rebellious act, good. Ano sa man akong rebellious at high school? Wala man. Butan mo ko. Itong high school ko. Ay, wala. Next. If given the chance to time travel, what day do you want to go and why? Time travel? Sa future? Okay, wala mga nag-ingon kung past time travel though so you can travel in the past or the future so the future i would choose to travel in the future and maybe hmm, have a look if like how's my life after five to ten years from now so i could still like you know like i could still have the chance to make it right now so that it will not happen in the future it's something like that Next is from Gloridel. Do you have any pet peeves? Mm, wala mo gamit. Tapos hindi balik ko tarong. Malagot ko ano. Next. What makes you feel accomplished? What makes me feel accomplished? Um, when I know I really have done something and it it has a, an impact to myself or to the people around me and when I know I did my best like it may not be the 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 result that people would expect from me but I know I've done my best and I've done my part that's when I feel accomplished of something when I know I have done what I really want to do. You know what I mean? It's like that. Next. The country question. Sige, ato na lang answer yun. Best piece of advice your family member gave you? Wala, man. Wala, kay, um, there's really no moment that we have, that we were able to talk to my family, like, or to my siblings, like heart to heart, but I could just remember 
um, one time when I was like heartbroken uh, my brother told me that it's really like that like it's like a trial and error so if it won't work out now then like move on and you know like just hope or wait for another love to spark for a new love to spark something like that I don't know if my brother could still remember this but yeah <clears throat> Next, I got the mo What's the weirdest thing about you? What's the weirdest thing about me? Um, weird. I don't know if you call it weird, but I am indecisive. Like I would say, I'll go now, and then minutes after, I'd be nah, never mind. Or, for example, I like. I could plan it like the whole, I don't know, month and like just one day, it, I could 360 say, you know what, never mind, no, I'm not going to push it through. So, it's a weird thing and I know it's not good. Next question. Here, no question. From, um gold I'm gold hi gold so first question what do you do first thing in the morning when you wake up gunit cell phone phone give up practical grab my phone and then message yeba and then but sometimes pray even if I talk to him first and then after that, or in the middle of our conversation, I'm gonna be like, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna pray first. So it's like that. Next question. Um, amongst the person that you looked up to, who is your top three and why? I looked up to top three and one. Hello, hello. I siguro, na na My brother, top one, my brother. Um, I looked up do in the sense that I don't want to waste his um, um, effort with me and the whole family. Like, I don't want to disappoint him. And <clears throat> next is person. I really look up to God. Like, no matter what I do, like, I don't look up to people. That's why I'm like I'm having a hard time to answer this because like I don't have that like I don't idolize someone because having that would make me tend to you know like, you know what I I want to be like that I want this to I want to do this I want to do this then what if you're gonna fail go on me like you have all these things. But um, if I could include God, He is the first one, and then my brother, and then I don't know my favorite YouTuber. <laughs> Crazy, right? Um, Jamie Jenby. Um, I love her. Um, she's just free soul, free spirited, and. Like she's amazing. She's a makeup artist. She she is the one who influenced me with tattoo piercings and all the jazz. But you know what I mean? Like she's a cool chick. Like she's a go getter. She's like that. And I look up to her. Yeah, I mean not really look up, but, you know, like I'm inspired by her. Next, last question is from Brew. Hi, Brew. First question: What annoys you? Oh, yeah. Ah, kabalina. Um, pagatikun. When someone takes advantage of someone's kindness. It annoys me that 
so much. It annoys me and it makes me angry when someone takes advantage or just simply kung atikun ka. Like for example, it's lang, simply lang ka ng musakay ka classic ka tapos may nga nga twerky lang ang pliti and then pag baba nyo mo kaya hindi mo singkwenta ang I mean, patay ang tao o ginana. <laughs> Next, last question. What certain food that you cannot take to eat? Balot ka ng piso yun. Ka na, di kaya, oy. <laughs> Maramdaman yung mga mga buhok-buhok at doy ginoon. So, maulang to guys. Um, I hope you get to know me.